had a smack one here this time with a just a little video this is a actually a five piece set of i would say t handle socket service wrenches and these are just a t handle version or i should say a socket version what's really commonly associated with t handle tools is either going to be like uh, allen wrenches like that or the traditional sliding t handles that you have for various socketry these are our service set. This is a real basic service set. As a matter of fact, I got these at a garage sale, got that, and a relatively new movie, Oppenheimer, on Blu-ray for 10 bucks. So it's a five-piece set here. Although on Amazon, these things are kind of cheap. You know, you can find, I mean, I'm sure these are just a Chinese set, and you can get pretty comprehensive, like 11-piece sets that go from like six through 19 millimeter for 50 bucks or so. So I'm sure a set like this is, you know, a little $20 set. And surprisingly enough, I guess better quality ones, I really thought this was welded, but it actually appears that this was the rod stock and they forged out the socket end as one piece, I guess because there'd be a lot of likelihood of a weld failing right there. And then apparently a lot of them friction weld the handles, which means they just spin this rod and force it into the steel and the friction actually heats up and melts and mixes together and is now replacing a lot of you know mig welding wire type welding or traditional type welding techniques because you don't have to add any extra material and it's just a machine that just spins it in kind of like starting a campfire with two sticks anyway so that's all purpose these are just basic service wrenches they do have hexes on them which are bigger than their drive so for instance this is a 10 millimeter this is going to have a 13 millimeter hex, so it kind of looks like a spark plug socket. It's kind of designed like that. So if you need a little extra torque, of course, you can do something like put an adjustable wrench on it. And they're just popular for assembly work. You know, you know, in the auto shop, if you're doing a lot of valve cover gaskets, interior work, replacing light bulbs or uh, light assemblies, something like a little 10 millimeter like this really comes in handy versus you know digging up ratchets and putting together various socketry it's just a one piece you know you drop you don't have to worry about things falling off or getting lost obviously once again you don't have the quite the versatility of a traditional t-handle because of course you can have long extensions various things like universals and the fact that the t-handle will slide over so that you can get a lot of extra torque for actually breaking the fastener and then of course putting in the middle for spinning it out and a lot of things that set apart cheap tools like or cheaper is they're all chrome vanadium which is a good quality tool steel but there's more than just one version of steel or one recipe that is considered chrome vanadium there's actually a couple dozen i believe uh various things that qualify as chrome vanadium as well as heat treatments of course is what really um best you know shows how well excuse me the specific recipe and the quality of heat treatment is what really can set apart two pieces of like two sockets that appear to be made out of the same material um chrome vanadium but some seem to last a lot longer and it's just those nuances but these seems to be holding up obviously this 10 millimeter has been used quite a bit and is doing its job it can be kind of deceiving because you can look down on a socket and it looks like it's totally ground out but that's actually just kind of a deception where it's just the top edge of the socket that's starting to get rolled over, but there's just still plenty of meat down there in the flutes. So not a lot else to say. This basic five-piece set actually enticed me because it wasn't random once. It just seemed like it was a five-piece set because it's an 8, 10, 12, 13, and 14. 14 and 9 16 is relatively interchangeable. 13 millimeter and half inch is relatively interchangeable. 7 16 and 12 millimeters uh, relatively works. 10 millimeters on a 3 8 doesn't quite work. And of course, 8 millimeters and 5 16 are nearly identical. And the reason they do the sockets, once again, kind of like a spark plug socket, is just so you can put a wrench on it. And it's a deep well, so if you're working on a knot that has a bit of a bolt sticking out on the end you'll have be able to uh, reach and work with it and these are actually once again surprisingly popular if you're working with a lot of low to lower torque fasteners or just running things in doing pre-assembly uh, to tell you the truth i've always known about these and thought about them and then forgot about them but i think uh, at some point i'm actually going to get a 
full set of these things. And just for that reason, in a shop, these would actually, you'd make up some piece of wood or something with holes drilled into it or have them somehow hanging on a pegboard. And a lot of times when you just need to work with some type of fastener, uh, you don't need to dig up a bunch of socketry and you can just grab one of these T-handles and, you know, maybe a socket to break or uh, and torque down a fastener and then just use these to run it out many times if you can of course have access that's kind of the deals these are more better more tuned for building swing sets working on your lawnmower obviously replacing a blower motor under your dash a big long tool like this will help in some situations and will be impossible in others and that's why they're just kind of like a shot pegboard thing just when you need to once again generally work on a fastener and i actually can't believe i've never since i've always had t-handles why well, i never got sets of these but I uh, see their validity a lot of them like these have pretty low quality dipped handles a lot of the cheaper sets don't even bother dipping the handles and I think this stuff's already peeling off I'll probably end up just uh, completely removing it anyway thanks for watching